Hi, welcome back to Old Guy REI. Today we're going to talk about our first purchase, which was the Triplex in St. Joseph, Missouri. And we've already gone through the numbers. What I want to get started with is the fact that I made some mistakes in the purchase and we've learned a lot of lessons to date. The first mistake I made was the fact that I didn't go see the property before we purchased it. And of all the properties that we've purchased so far, this property was the one I should have gone to look at. It was originally built as a single family home. It's a big Victorian house. And over the years, it had been divided into three two bedroom, one bath units. So one of the challenges is the fact that the layout is not conducive to three separate units. It's a little bit funky and it's become an issue as far as rentability and it, the fact that it's an older home also has been an issue because it's competing with other rentals in the area that may be newer builds or um, just nicer finishes. The home itself is really clean and well built, but it still looks old. And so we're actually considering going this summer to take a look at it and come up with a game plan to make it more attractive as a rental and maybe change the flow a little bit so that it works better for the tenants. It also has a two car garage, which is separated and we haven't found anyone that has a use for the garage. None of the tenants want to rent the space. So it's just sitting, which is money lost. We did consider turning the garage into an ADU, but when we contacted the city of St. Joseph, they said that's not possible unless we actually live on the property. Some of the things that were attractive on the property and helped with us deciding to purchase it were the fact that it had a brand new roof provided by the turnkey provider. They had a scope of work that they did to ready the property for sale and all of those items were taken care of. One of the bathrooms was remodeled, things like that. One of the first challenges that we encountered was due to the fact that I hadn't picked a property management company before we purchased the triplex and the first one that we ended up choosing was not a good fit because they were a little bit too far away and they didn't make regular visits to the city of St. Joseph and that hindered progress because they took a while to take in applications. It was a while to set up appointments to show the units to get them rented. Uh, so we ended up paying the mortgage on the property for a few months, probably five months. And then Luckily, we ran across a new property manager in the area that's a little closer to our place. And he went to see the, the triplex and liked the property, thought it could be a great rental. He ended up, uh, after we hired him, he ended up having the place fully rented within about 30 days. He's been great and we've been with him ever since. We've had some turnover recently and we've had to rehab one of the units which cost a few thousand dollars which brings to mind the fact that we always should be ready and have reserves on hand for these things that are going to cost a few dollars here and there because if you don't it could really derail your progress and maybe even keep you from investing any further but we were fortunate to have the reserves to cover the mortgage, to make the repairs, to wait through the vacancies and to continue on. I think that's probably one of the biggest things is to have reserves other than to have a strong why. And my why from the beginning was the fact that if anything ever happened to me, I needed my family to be okay and to still have some income coming in if I wasn't able to work or if something worse happened. So that motivates us daily to keep pushing forward. 
One of the other lessons that we've learned is the fact that this home only has one furnace and it is controlled by one thermostat for all three units, which has been a challenge for the tenants, I'm sure. They've dealt with it fine to this point, but when we go out to see it this summer, we're going to look at the possibility of putting mini splits in the upper two units, which are more localized heating and cooling units for, for those two apartments. Other things like water and garbage that we needed to put in our name have come up. Uh, we didn't know that in the beginning, which is not a big deal. The water can be charged back to the tenants through the property manager, and that's what he's been doing. So that doesn't take a whole lot out of our um, cash on cash return. And then the garbage needs to be in our name. And we're supposed to supply that service for the tenants. And there it's not too much. It's about $40 a month per unit. All of that gets calculated into the overall numbers. And you should be including that in your calculations to make sure you're getting the return that you think you are when you buy the property. If there are any questions about anything that I've mentioned so far, please feel free to send your questions in and we'll get them answered as soon as possible. We've kind of started in a few different states because we were following turnkey providers and looking for deals that way. So we next time we'll be talking about our second purchase, which was a duplex in Milwaukee. Hope to see you there.